guys, Steve from BNS Customs here. Today we're going to be fixing the front turn signal on my uh, 2018 Dodge Durango RT. Let's go take a look at it. So as we can see here, this is how a normal turn signal should look from inside. And this is how you know your bulb's blown. You see how fast the other turn signal blinks? That's how you know you have a problem. Just walk around your vehicle and you can spot which one is blown out. As we know, it's the front uh, driver's side on, for my case. So. Let's go pop the hood and uh, see how we can access it. If you need to do the passenger side, it's real simple. All you're going to do is you're going to reach your hand in and you're going to see two light sockets. The top one with the green ring is the one you want. You're going to turn it counterclockwise and pull it out. And just reach your hand in here next to the overflow and you should be able to feel it. It will just turn like that. I just popped it out and there's your orange bulb. So let's go look at the more complex driver side. We now have to remove the gasket here. It's just push riveted in. You're just gonna take your hand and pull it straight up. It should release the water gasket here. So hard doing this one handed. There we go. That's what you're looking at there. It just pulls right out. So go ahead and pull out as much as you need. I'll keep doing this and see how far we get. So they do make a tool to do this. It's a, like a forked screwdriver here. And you're gonna put that in where the little pop plastic rivets are and then just pry it up like that. So I went ahead, I removed the whole gasket. You don't have to though, using that. What you wanna do is get this air box assembly out of the way. To do that, we gotta remove the air filter cover. There's two clips here on the side. So just push right off, one, two. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, detach the hose here too, just to make it easier for filming. As you can see, the air box just comes off these hinges here, right here and here. Just pull it out of the way. You can take out your air cleaner if you want, but I don't even think you need to. This assembly will just detach from the box here on the bottom. Get this off too. You see it right here? You just pick, grab it and pinch it. Push it forward and it's going to pop out. There is a little rivet here holding it on top too. There it goes. And it's out of the way. Just that easy. Correct one you want to use is the green one with the green ring on it. And you're just going to turn it counterclockwise. There it goes. I was able to pop it off. And now we can see it come out. There's our bulb. There we go. And now the bulb will just pull straight out. Like so. And there it is. And as you can see, this from the factory is a Sylvania bulb. It is part number 3157NAK. I just happen to have one from my 04 Silverado from like eight years ago that I had. And as you see right at the top there. 3157NA. It's also the same for the other numbers you see there as well. And as you see, I only did one at a time. You should, you can do both. Um, when you do headlights, I recommend doing both. Turn signals, it's up to you. I'm just going to do the one. The master here of one-handed tricks. Go ahead and get that in place. And push it in just like so. Now's a good time to test it too before we... Uh, go back into the put everything back together so all i did was turn the hazard lights on and we have a working bulb there we go so now simply turn the bulb a little bit uh counterclockwise you're going to insert it back into the housing and then turn it clockwise to lock it back in so that's pretty much going to do it you're just going to reassemble everything the way you took it out uh, this is the bottom part that goes into the air box. You can see the little tab there on the bottom. So just you're going to just pinch this housing as you push it back into the box. And as you see, that is now reassembled here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put our air filter back in. Flat like that. So with the air lid here, these tabs are going to go under those hinges. I'm going to go down in and then close it and then flip up the little metal tabs holding it on. And then you can reattach the air hose here and tighten your hose clamp. And the last thing to do here is to line up all your little green push rivets. Just line them up and push them in one by one. So there it is, both uh, blinkers are working. Hope this video helps you out. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time everyone, take care. All right, I got master mechanic Enzo Orion with me. Ready Enzo, we're gonna test the turn signals. Enzo, put the turn signal all the way down. Put it all the way up. Middle. Hit the triangle. Awesome, buddy. 
All right, Enzo, that was great. Good job. Let's go buy a supercharger and throw it in this thing and make it an SRT. What do you say? Okay. All right, buddy. Let's go do it. So to do the supercharger, I'm going to have to borrow about three to $5,000 from you. Do you have that? No. Well, we might have to wait until this YouTube thing pays off then, so. I might have some. All right, let's go check your piggy bank. 